I'm an ex-Visa officer, and so many of my clients tell me that they were only asked a few questions in their interview, and then they were refused. Why does the visa officer only ask one or two questions and then they refuse the visa? They never give you a chance to actually tell them what you want to tell them. Well, here's what I'm going to tell you. As a visa officer myself in the past, I needed to move very quickly. I needed to ask a few questions, get the bare minimum of information and evidence from each visa applicant before making a decision about their application to either approve it or refuse it. I didn't have time to ask question after question, to delve into the details, to get a recalcitrant applicant to actually open up and tell me what is this business that their parents are running that's going to fund their education? What is their plan for after graduation? What is the purpose of this business trip to the US? I needed the visa applicant to be very forthcoming and also take the initiative to tell me that information without me even having to ask it, okay? So when visa applicants tell me that, oh, the visa officer refused me before I could even tell them anything, they only asked me one or two questions. Aha, listen there, they only asked me one or two questions. What am I hearing is that they did ask you one or two questions. Those one or two questions, those are your opportunity to respond to the visa officer in whatever way you choose. They're going to ask you something very general. What's your purpose of travel to the US? What are you going to study in the US? What university are you going to in the US? What's this job you're going to do in the US? Whatever this very general question is, that's the beginning of the interview. That is your opportunity. Now, since I'm on the outside now and I help visa applicants pass their visa interviews, I would love it if visa officers at the consular interview asked the applicants, please tell me about your qualifications. Please tell me whatever you would like to tell me to convince me that you are eligible for the visa. But the truth is that visa officers are rarely, if ever, going to ask that explicit question in the interview. They're going to ask questions that are related to that. Questions, the sum of which, add up to answering that question. Questions like, uh, what do you do for work? Do you own property? What do your parents do for a living? Uh, where did you go to school? What's your level of education? What's your salary? All of these questions are actually trying to find the answer to that question, why should I issue you your visa? Now, if you know that's what they're trying to get to from the very beginning, that's what they are asking you questions for, that's the purpose of the questions they're asking you, you don't have to wait for the specific question that you are thinking is going to be your key to unlocking an approval in your visa interview. You can give that answer at the very beginning of the visa interview. When they say, what are you going to do in the US? That's your opportunity to speak. Now, you're an active participant in this visa interview. You're not a passive interviewee. You're an active interviewee. You're deciding what information you want to convey to the visa officer. That means when they ask you that question, that's very general, you do not have to give a one word answer. Now, please, let me say that one more time. Do not give a one word answer. You should be giving a full considered answer thinking, what is the information this visa officer needs to know about me? Now, everyone's case is going to be different. Someone's case that's very straightforward, maybe it's your first time applying for a visa, you've never applied before, you've gotten into a good school, you have adequate funding, your strategy is going to need to be completely different from someone who's been refused multiple times over the years for different types of visas uh, with different family members and you've got some family member who's in the US, your strategy is going to be completely different. I can't give you a comprehensive strategy for you personally when I'm just speaking generally to every visa applicant in the world. But what you do need to do is know what are the key points of your application. Do you need to focus on your highlights? The highlights are what get you issued, the green flags, right? Maybe you've got strong finances, you've got a strong professional background, your education is particularly strong, you've traveled to many other countries. Maybe you need to focus on hurdles, things that are gonna be red flags on your interview. This could be low finances, this could be prior refusals, this could be a family member in the US who adjusted status or, or, or has stayed in the US uh, longer than the duration that they were originally admitted for. Whatever it is, you need to know what it is you need to focus on and then proactively give that information in the best way possible so that you can frame yourself as a qualified applicant in front of the visa officer at the very beginning of the interview. So. When you hear that, oh, they only ask one or two questions, don't think, oh, they only need a little bit of information. Oh, the decision is already made. No, it's not. Those 
one or two or three questions that you're going to be asked are the key to getting your visa approved. You have to answer those questions with your highlights. They're not going to give you 20 minutes, 30 minutes for you to slowly bring to life your story. You've got that one chance, one question, two questions, three questions, and then they're going to make a decision. So focus on that. Focus on giving your highlights at the very beginning of your interview, not waiting, proactively presenting your credentials, and that's how you're going to get your visa issued.